Hello, people. How's everybody doing today? Seventh the second here. Uh, we got more Dog and Rabba to get to. It's bugging me because I don't know where this last Monokuma doll is, but I've checked everywhere. May maybe, maybe I'll get it after. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, because there's shit's, shit's gonna go down. It's a it's a Dog and Rabba game. Shit's gonna go down. I don't know when it's gonna go down. Maybe it'll be after that. Maybe something else will open up that I don't have access to just yet. Let's wait and figure out what the hell is going to happen. But first, before we, before anything before anything goes down, any, anything gets crazy, we have free time to pick. We should definitely be picking our free time people here. Um, I kind of want to do it based on report, based on who I'm further along, furthest along with. Um, where was she at? She was still at the hospital, right? I literally went the exact opposite direction of where I needed to go to find her, but okay. What's in the hospital or well, what's she doing here? Let's talk to her. Huh. Alright. Sure, and I probably have something to... Huh. Are you not feeling well? I'll take a look. <laughs> Let's don't hold back. Please show me your body. I spent time running away from Mikan's attempts to examine me. Uh, sure. the details on this one? Um... Oh, well, I know where that one's going. No, it's not that one. It's not any of those. Oh, oh, this one probably. Surprised that you have something like this. <laughs> for some reason, I feel a little closer to you. This is this is bad. This silence goes on any longer. Um, did, did I do something wrong again? Seriously, you haven't done anything wrong. I already told you that I just want to talk to you normally. <laughs> I see. I, I'm glad. If you would like to talk, I don't really know what everyone likes yet. But, um, well, there might be lots of things I'm not good at doing, but. I'll do anything, so please let me know. Do... Do, do anything? Of course, I'll do anything. Hey, don't you think you should say... S I don't think you should say something like that so freely. <laughs> Why? I mean, before we even arrived here, everyone didn't... Everyone else didn't seem to mind. For fun, I tried eating strange bugs. I even let them use my body when there wasn't anything else to ride on. Also, I had to be responsible for debts and be the target for dark games, so... <laughs> I'm pretty useful, you know? Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, that doesn't sound like a joke at all. How can you be smiling when you're forced to do stuff like that? Did you actually enjoy it? Um, Obviously, I don't want to do all that stuff. Or do that stuff at all. But if it makes everyone not hate me and smile at me, then that's much better. I just about dumped water on myself. <laughs> For some reason, I feel this profound concern. Why is she like this? But Hajime? Would you, would you like to try it out? <laughs> Doodling's very fun. Please draw me wherever you like. Well, I, I'm also good at pretending to be a pig. I, I'll do it. I'll do it right now. No. Just please don't look at me like that. Uh, uh, sorry. 
For now, let's talk again later. You need to calm down. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I'll make sure to get it right. I'll make sure to get it right next time. So please talk to me again. I beg of you. Sure. I promise. So I'll see you later. All right. <laughs> yes, I'll be waiting forever. Jesus. It's like I ran away or something, but I should definitely try to talk to her properly next time around. Hey, Hope Fragma Torino. I returned to my room, but I felt like Mikan was still watching me from somewhere. Forever. Oh god, did we did we trigger stalker mode? Uh, that hole is gonna bug me until I find it. Alright, let me see something. Not that we want report card. Skill list. I legit don't remember how the fuck I'm supposed to buy skills. Oh! Duh. Alright, I have a lot of fucking hope skills. I should do stuff. Uh... I'm not worried about that. Uh... I think we go ahead and snag that. Because we did have a problem with the rebuttal. Uh, I'm not worried about that. Uh, not worried about that. I think we're gonna take something in for, uh... I think we're here. Was there a one skill? What was the one skill? Upshift? No, I don't need I don't need increased aiming or anything. I've actually been looking for that fucking ability for a while now. Um Let's find out where everybody is. Who's where? So they're there. Uh She's still in her hut. She's still there. He's there. There's nobody in the center island. Everybody else is on the third. He's not going to want to talk. Oh, you're at the... Sure, why not? Uh, I think it's the same direction either way. I actually know this is one shorter, so this is fine. Let's go talk to Sonya. I think I have some I have some gifts that could work for her. Amazing! So many cute pop idols in Japan. Seiko, Kyon Kyon, Miporin, Gokumi. What them all? Should I do? Uh, sure. Yeah, let's hang out. Who are you a fan of, Hajime? Please tell me. I spent time today listening to Sonya passionately talk at length about Japanese pop idols. Probably don't deserve it, but it looks like so I got to get a little closer. Sure. Um. good here 
Uh... Maybe I should have saved before doing this, but fuck it. Oh, we can't let you get that's what we in the industry call a key item. You fucking what? Was it really a key item? Where did I even see that thing? Okay, so I don't really have a lot of good stuff that I think would be good for her. something down here. You know what? Let's just give her a teacup. She really seems to like like Japanese culture stuff. So maybe this. Open the treasure box and surprise. May I really have this? <laughs> oh, we got a good one. By the way, you're really good with words. Of course. I have done much studying, after all. You speak really fluently. Yes. I do not know how many times I have seen. I will arrest your eyes. When I arrived in Japan, the first thing I did was run across Spain's Z Zaka. I, I, oh, oh, I see. I don't really understand, though. Um, In my opinion, I believe the best Japanese dramas were well, the ones aimed at women between the ages of 20 and 34, just before Japan's economic bubble burst. The trendiness, energy, and quality, the tablet was truly at its zenith during this period. I, I, I see. Ugh, it's no use. I can't keep up with what she's saying at all. And what does she mean by bubble? However, Like all entertainment, Japanese dramas heavily reference their native culture. Because of this, slang expressions were often used. So there are some things foreigners may not understand. Um, Hajime, if you are willing, would you train me? Train? Uh, uh, uh of course I can teach you some things I understand, <laughs> but thank you very much. So, uh, for example... Um, when lovers go on a ski trip, they always end up trapped by a blizzard, right? In that situation, they... they, What do you call the ritual where they warm themselves under a blanket while naked? The fuck kind of dramas was she watching? Like, what? What? Well, uh... It's not really a ritual. It's... Uh... How should I put it? It's more like a cliche. I... Is that so? I certainly thought it was something known in my country as Makango. Ma Makango? Um. It's a tradition in my country. According to tradition, lovers cannot become one until they, ha they show each other the Makangos they have grown. Ooh, it is too embarrassing. Please do not make me say it. Embarrassing? What's a Makango anyway? Uh. I, I cannot say. You will get a nosebleed. Is it, is it really that embarrassing? It seems the Novoselic Kingdom is filled with more mysteries than I thought. What the fuck? All right, we got a hope fragment. Uh, after having an awkward conversation with Sonya, I return to my room. Sorry, my roommate's paying me for something, so I had to be like, okay, what's up? Ahem! Hope's Peak Academy school trip 
executive, it is now. Please return Melbin. Yes, 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 yes. Night time. It's like I have anything that I need to do. I should just get some sleep for the day. It should be okay to have a peaceful day like this for a change. Oh, Hajime, please don't say that. Please don't say that. You guys? It's a waste of time to constantly worry about things. Well, if you really want to waste time that badly, I won't stop you. I'm, I'm not saying that killing meaninglessly time... That killing meaningless time is a bad or anything. I mean, even in happy times, sad times, painful times, fun times, times you want to remember, or times you want to forget, they all end up becoming nostalgic memories eventually. So, killing time by worrying about things is an effect. Uh, things an effect. Isn't killing time by worrying about things an effective way of dealing with that worry? <laughs> Do your best at worrying about things and killing time. Yeah. Okay, do I get another free day, or is it another... It, it has shit gone down Ahem. overnight. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good Jesus morning. Christ! Why are you in my room this early? Good morning. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. What the heck? <laughs> what a huge success. I received such a nice reaction. I Ibuki, how did you get in here? Jeez, oh, Hajime, you're so careless. Careless? I made sure I locked the door. Huh. And I destroyed that worthless lock. Why did you destroy it? Hey, hey! Who cares? More importantly, there's something... There's something... There's something important I need to tell you. W w what <laughs> Four. <laughs> is... No. That was just three. Uh, if you've got time to nitpick others, then hurry up and meet me at the restaurant. <laughs> I'll explain the details there, so count on you. She's like a fucking hurricane. Oh my god. But did she take the time to come all the way to my cottage to summon me? Does something bad happen again? Uh, I'm feeling a little depressed now. I mean we're still in we're still in beautiful morning territory. We're not in beautiful dead yet. So How did I get that on there? Make sure there ain't anybody behind me. It's just, it's just Nagito over here. You, you doing all right, buddy? You were having a hard time after that. Hello there. After that, like, after seeing the uh, his his like video. Good morning, Hajime. <laughs> Even if you ignore me, I am already happy that our eyes have met. You really are a kind person. Hey. Anyway, after what happened to Fuyuhiko. You understand what I'm saying a little better now, right? B wait, what do you mean? You don't know? Fuyuhiko involved himself in Peko's execution. I did say that it felt unpalatable to me. But Fuyuhiko returned to us alive. It's obvious. He used Peko's death as a stepladder so he could shine even brighter. Cling and cling to an even stronger hope. I keep doing that. You? What? Huh? You don't agree? Well... Well, uh, but it's been decided that's what hope should be. That's why you and the others progressed forward. <laughs> Oops, we should chat later. We need to be at the restaurant soon. I'll go on ahead. How long does he keep saying really fucking foolish things? Like, I, I mean, I understand he's kind of fucked in the head. I, I was going to say, I saw the shadows. So I knew we had somebody out here. Hi, Nakamaru. <clears throat> oh, it's you, Hajime. Were you also summoned by Ibuki? Eh, seems so. Has she been going around waking people up? Did, did she break the lock on your room too? No! No, that never happened. I was awakened by a knock at my door at go, going at a at a 3-3-7 three, three, clapping rhythm, then some shouting. That's extremely annoying. Was I the only one whose room got broken into? Huh? But for her to go to the trouble of waking us up, what in the world happened? I have a very bad feeling about this. Let's make haste and head over. I should hurry up too, but don't worry. We're going to go through the lobby as well, because more than likely Chiaki's there with more shit to say. Oh. Really? Really now? 
What are you doing here, Sonya? Good day. Good morning. I am glad to have. I'm glad. I'm. So, blah, 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 blah. I am so glad today is another clear, sunny day. Another? M more like. Actually, now that you mention it, ever since we came to this island, it hasn't rained once. Why is that? <sighs> no, it might be best if I don't think about that too deeply. <laughs> okay, sure. I mean, it's a tropical island. You probably get rain in, like, giant bursts, so. When I arrived at the restaurant, the first thing I saw was... Everyone's backs. It's that they were forming a circle around something. Hey, what happened? As I said that, I peeked over everyone's shoulders. I got something I want to say. Where the hell did he get an eye patch from? For you, Hiko, is it okay for you to be moving around like this so soon? Also, what kind of position is he standing in that his back is like? That his arm, like... Like, for my arm to be down by, like, my knees when I have my hands down, I have to almost be bent. I, like, I'm effectively bent forward. So he's, he's like, in a deep-ass, like, knees-bent stance and everything. Whatever I say after this point, I apologize in advance if I make a mistake. My last name is Kuzuryu. My first name is pronounced Boo Yu He Ko. What? What are you What are you doing? Buddy, what are you doing? I'm still an inexperienced member of my family's business. From this point forward, I hope we get along so we can get to know each other better. You fiend. Just what the hell is that? Huh? It's nothing really. Just a greeting. There's no way that was just a greeting. And yet, I feel like that was the first time Fuyuhiko ever greeted us. <laughs> that eye patch of yours. Nothing. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. There's no way it's nothing. It's just, the eye is no longer. You can't see it, so you can't see it. Huh? huh? It's only one eye. Besides, don't I look like I've gained some prestige or something? However, or something. Oh, you Hiko. Huh. Why are you acting all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Y Yoko. Yeah. Do you really think we'd forgive you that easily for what you did? Understand? But don't you get it? It's your fault that Mahiru is dead. No. Not just Mahiru. Peko died because of you too. Hey. All your fault. Oh. Yoko, we've finally been able to get together with everyone. And? Huh? So what if we're all here? You better not say we're friends or something. Shut up! There's no way a killer like him will ever be our friend. I know. Yeah, you're right. It's all my fault. I already know that. It's all my fault that those two are dead. You. Are you? Are you planning to just give us your so what attitude? I... It's not that. As he squeezed out those words, he suddenly collapsed to the ground. Probably fucking over exhaust. Oh. Fuyuhiko. Oh. Well, that's actually kind of fucking huh? big. What the heck? Hey, don't mess with me. Do you really think we're gonna forgive you if you just drop to your knees and cry? Do you really think a half-assed apology will make us forget what you've done? No. I don't think that at all. Oh! This is... No! Ah! It's blood! It's blood! Ah! Ah! Wow, okay. That fucking caught me far enough off guard I stopped reading. So he just slid his own stomach open. You saying he cut his own open his own freaking stomach? What the what the heck are you doing? I didn't think I'd be forgiven by such a half-assed apology, but if I don't do this, my feelings won't feel resolved. <laughs> this doesn't mean you should slice your own stomach. <laughs> we must carry him to the hospital as soon as possible. 
You're right. Kazuichi, let me a hand. This is bad. Yeah, sure thing. Stop it. I can walk there myself. There's no way you can walk. Even though you took that time to patch you up, now I need to sue your wound all over again. I feel so ashamed. In the end, I made trouble for everyone again. Who cares about that? Let's go! It was carried for you, he go out of the restaurant. But for those who were left there... Well, this is kind of awkward. How should I start up a conversation? Well? Hey, Yoko. I've been thinking about this for a while, but... Um... What would Maru say about all of this? You know, you guys were best friends, so what do you think? <laughs> what would Mahiru say? <clears throat> what would Mahiru say? She'd probably get mad. Really mad. And after she got mad... It's... it's definitely not possible. There's no way it'd be that easy to move on. We never had to think about death until we came to this island. So when we're forced to suddenly confront it, there's, there's no way we'd know how we're supposed to deal with it. We're not that strong. Hey. Mmm, this is a rare occurrence. If you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again... Oh, excuse me. If you're saying you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again, now's not really the best time. No, it's not that. Does anyone know where Akane is? Huh? Now that you mention it, she's gone. It's so strange for her to not join us at breakfast. Mm. I have a bad feeling about that, too. A bad feeling? I mean, hasn't she been acting a little weird these past few days? How pitiful. She's always weird. Mm. But I'm a little worried, though. She's not the only one who's worried about, or I'm worried about. An awkward feeling lingered as we finished breakfast. Soon after, we all decided to return to our cottages. Free time? I've never felt so fatigued in the morning before. It's probably because of everything that just happened. But I should put that feeling aside and move on. There's no such thing as a useless day for us anymore. Free term! Alright, who the hell are we going for today? I don't think there's anything good for two. What are we saving up for? Let me let's let's think of it that way. I think we have everything we need for that. Maybe we're saving up for Mood Maker since those since. Panic Talk Action and Rebuttal Showdown were the ones that I had the hardest time with. I mean, I guess we could probably aim for, like, either Chiaki or Akane. Uh, alright. Uh... That's not it. Um... I thought that was a quick way to go to the map, but I guess not. Alright. Alright, so she's in her room. He's there, he's there. She's at Rocket Punch Market? I mean, I have stuff for her. So we could. Oh. I, I, I kind of went the long way, but whatever. That's the thing, there's not that much difference between like where uh, like where where you have to go to get to everything. Huh. Why do you want? I don't feel like talking to you right now. Uh sure. Okay, I guess she's gonna be off training. Sure. Why not? Um I had something, or at least I thought I had something.
Did I already give her one of those? I feel like I did. Okay, so that's not... I... Hmm. I don't have anything necessarily good. I might just go... I might just go with it again. Giving this to me? Mm. I guess I got no choice but to take it. You, you look pretty bummed. Are you even eating, uh, Hank? <laughs> oh my god. My name's Hajime. You only got the H right. More importantly, why are you so full of energy? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? There's yummy food, soft blankets. My room doesn't leak when it rains. Wait, this place is way better than where I grew up. Seriously, even in this kind of situation? Um. You know how it is. It's not that strange to find a dead body in the dump in the morning. Where in the hell are you from? The trashy place where people or crappy people are all swept together. Stuff like that happens all the time. How can you say that like it's no big deal? What kind of an environment was she raised in? Anyway, since I've never had any money, I did whatever I could to earn cash. <laughs> I even sold my used panties to this nosy pig who kept boinking, Panties! Panties! By the time I was able to legally work part-time, I didn't have to run away anymore. So when you mentioned parkour before, you were talking about that. That's probably just laid the foundation for being a gymnast. What kind of part-time jobs did you do? I bet you probably did stuff like manual labor. Huh. Like, I did a lot of things. For some reason, my mom's boyfriend were always pushing, always pushed me into doing weird jobs. How weird are we talking here? Like, what are we talking about? Like, first, one of the all one of them told me all I needed to do was serve food. I never expected he'd tell me to do it like that. I'm sure, kind of talking about being a waitress, but I'm kind of a waitress. Oh, which one's gonna be the right one? He's not going to tell her to do no panties. That doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense. Uh, while in cosplay? Did you make cosplay? Um. Oh, it was on ro roller skates. Oh, they're... Oh, okay. Make you were roller skates? Let's see. Oh, what's that? That sounds fun. No panties? Really? What? What happened? Uh, well, What's that mean? anyway, I didn't know what to do. I mean, he told me to do it without my panties. You know. That doesn't make any sense, right? There's no way I could do something like that. <sighs> of course. <laughs> right? That would definitely make your stomach cold. Th that's not the issue. You. Oh, man, you're annoying. Talking to you made me hungry again for some reason. <laughs> I guess it's time for me to have my fourth meal. I just said that she walked away in a hurry. What kind of past does she have? What the fuck? Oh, okay. I'm glad that wasn't one you could technically fail, but all right. I got another hope fragment for that. Um. Sure. All right. Where's Chiaki at? All right, uh, she's obviously off playing games, but that's fine. I don't remember if I've given her a set of dice already or not. See, this is the thing. I wish I could keep. If I could, if I was playing this sets all much closer together, it would be much easier to remember what I've given her. Huh? You bored or something? Sure. Well. Hmm. We can kill time together with that, I think. 
kill time with Chiaki as we thought about different ways to kill time. There was something closer down to the bottom. I don't, like I said, I don't know if I've... Hey, hey. Hey, that looks fun. <laughs> I'll, I'll play around with different ways of using it when I go back to my room. Thanks. God, I, I forgot she fucking just zonks out every once in a while. Every single time. I can't believe how quickly she falls asleep in such a short time. Samurai, Samurai, Statue River. Don't shoot the beam there. This is bad. Zombie Nation? Eating up humans? Is she driven about a game? I have no idea what kind of game Sorry. she's talking about. I, I think I was sleeping again. Were you playing a video game in your dreams too? Yeah, it was fun. It was a shooting game. I see, so you like those kind of games? Yep. Pretty all inclusive. I'll play anything from Space Invaders to the latest military shooters. I also like simulation games. Right now, I mainly play real-time strategy games, but I like turn-based ones too. Hey, hey. So where do you want to go today? How about we go to the ranch today? I don't really like animals that much. Really? Mm. They're warm when you touch them, you know. That's a little scary. It's kind of hard to guess what they'll do next. Well? I'm better at games that use precise calculations, where success and failure is determined by numerical values. But it's hard for me to play games where I have to manage relationships and guess what characters are feeling. I see. And that has something to do with her upbringing. I don't want to do things Jackie will hate, but it feels lonely to just leave her like this. How about we look at the animals from far away? Was well, it the ranch are pretty tame? You can even try to touch them if it looks safe. Okay. I think. If you teach me a lot of things, it'll probably be okay. I think. Is she relying on me? If so that makes me happy. Hmm. Oh my, it's a cow. I wonder if it's gonna dance like the one in Dancing Eye. That might be a little difficult. Maybe I should try touching it a little. Jackie walked into the cow and cautiously pet its back. The cow seemed not to mind and continued silently eating grass. <laughs> wow, it's really warm. Well, that's because it's alive. Hmm. I see. Hmm. You're right. Unlike humans, animals don't mind being touched that much, so that might, get, might make it easier for me. If you touch a person, something is born from that interaction, right? Repulsion, anticipation, whatever. I'm nervous about stuff like that. It makes me think I'm better off not doing anything unnecessary. Like, it's better if I just stay an innocent bystander for as long as I can. Jackie's feelings seem a little odd, but I do understand where she's coming from. I hope that one day she can touch not just cows, but people too. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, you know, if we milk this cow, I'm sure the fresh milk must be really tasty. Hey, hey. Milk this cow? Huh? You know that milk comes from cows, right? What do you mean, from? Milk is milk, right? You know, if you pull a cow's udders, milk comes out? You only need one cow to get as much milk as you want. Huh? As much as you want? <laughs> but if you try to cut open a milk bottle, a cow comes out of it, right? And it dances, right? I knew it. It's definitely dancing eyes. It's, what? Seriously, what kind of game is she talking about? I explained how milk works to Chiaki in detail. Why are there so many things that she doesn't know? As usual, Chiaki is full of mysteries. Okay. Alright, I think that puts us at, like, what was that? Is that five hope fragments? Chiaki started to feel sleepy from playing too much, so after sending her off, I returned to my room. Alright, so... Yeah, nighttime. Alright. It's getting dark outside. It's nighttime already? Oh, that felt fast. Ever since I arrived on this island, a day passes by abnormally fast. The doorbell? Somebody, yes, that does mean somebody's here. I cautiously walked towards the door and opened it. Slowly, wary of what might be on the other side. Nice to have met ya. Oh my god, at least she rang the doorbell this time. <laughs> it's the past tense of nice to meet ya. You know, since, we're, since we've already exchanged nice to meet yous. I, Ibuki? You again. That's totally it. Allow me to apologize for surprising you with my sudden visit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's a lot better than the last time when you broke into my room. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you must be the type who holds grudges. My ears and joints hurt. That that means you have gout. So what do you want? Um... Ibuki doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. An invitation? Yes! See this thing. Invitation ticket. 9 p.m. at at the Titty Typhoon. Party for Fuyuhiku Kuzuryu's recovery. That, that's totally a girl's handwriting. Uh, that, no. I know no one whose handwriting is that clean. No one. Literally no one. Let's see a recovery party for Fuyuhiku at Titty Typhoon. 9 p.m.? What is this? Is this Monokuma's doing again? Why, you? How rude. Don't put that in the same category as Monokuma. Is this you're doing? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about at all. Mookie just brought the invitation. It's definitely her. <laughs> well then, Mookie has some preparation, so I'll go on ahead. I'll leave it to you. She even said preparation. She's completely behind this. Change huh, Typhoon is that music venue on the third island, right? 9 p.m.? That's in 30 minutes! This is a party for Yuga's recovery. Is he even going to be able to come? After all, he just slid his stomach this morning. But she took the trouble out of, to do this out of goodwill, so I guess I should head over to the music venue. There's nobody over here, right? I mean, this is beautiful, uh, Beautiful Ruin. Yeah. You guys can't see the song title because it's underneath my camera up here, but... Discord message. Who the hell was that? Okay, we're here. The hell is going on? Nagito, Ibuki invited you too, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm honored. But ever since everyone else, since everyone else is going to be there celebrating Fuyuhiko's recovery, someone like me. No matter what I think, I think it's too rude for someone like me to go inside before everyone else arrives. You don't have to worry about me. You can go inside first. Believe me, I'm not worried. Gundam, what are you doing out here? This too must be the will of causality. Tonight's constellation heralds that the heralds the banquet that celebrates Fuyuhiko's recovery. <laughs> How idealistic. It's nearly showtime! Now then, let's begin the ceremony of darkness! This, uh, who even cares anymore? Nobody else is out here. Several people had already arrived at the music venue, but... Fuyuhiko? Why are you? Huh? What? Is it bad I came? No, it's not that. It's it's okay for you to move around? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. Even so. They took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't go. But... I, I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork yourself. So. I'm not overdoing it. Jeez. Fine then. Just let him do whatever he wants. Huh? It's fine. Just let him be. Apparently, Yakuza have pain tolerances down to an art. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of an event. The old Fuyuhiko probably wouldn't have come no matter how much we invited him. He's probably trying his very best to change. Hey. Looks like Yoko definitely didn't come. How? That seems to be the case. Huh? And Akane's not here, too. 
What's the wild woman off doing? I hope she's not planning to do anything strange. As if on cue, right when Nekomaru expressed his unease, that's when it happened. My! Oh my! Suddenly the stage was lit up very brightly, and the person who appeared was... Okay. <laughs> I may not look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. So I'm gonna do my very best performance so I can make everyone feel better. I hope you're all pumped up. Just as I thought. That's what she was going for. Well, she is the ultimate musician after all. I can't imagine what else she'd do at a music venue. All right! I'll start singing this first song with full-on energy! So, put your hands together. Since she was originally a member of a high school girls band that dominated the music charts, I could probably look forward to her musical stylings. <laughs> okay, you guys can't see this. There's a skip in this upper corner here. I'm trying to actually decide how long I let this roll. Who knew she was like the, the fucking death metal girl? Like... Uh, the closest thing I could equate this to would be like grumble talking. Or grumble singing. Like... Part of it's like, I want to see how far this goes. But at the same time, it's just like, what the fuck is even happening? <laughs> yeah. I feel like if I was going to skip it, I should have skipped it like at the very beginning. I, I do almost feel like I'm sort of committed at this point. Thank you, everyone! Yeah, I wasn't that far off. Ah! <laughs> that face! Oh my god! He looks like he was, like, not paying attention and then suddenly... The fucking music came on as he was like right in front of it. He looks like he just got his brain shattered. I'm gonna get cursed. What? Such an overwhelming, ba overwhelmingly baleful resonance. Even my four dark days of destruction look less lively than usual. Something like this. I too am starting to feel chills. A little title like from me to you. I thought it was gonna be a sweet love song. <laughs> If I recall, the reason why Ibuki left the high school girls band was creative differences. That probably was why. <laughs> it's awesome. It's the first time I've heard such a famous song. H Hyoko? I'm glad. Oh, you came. Huh. So what if I did? I was invited along. I was invited too, you know. What? But, but you're attending Fuyuhiko's recovery party. That means you, you've already... That's not it! Uh, are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I'd forgive him that easily. Hey! Because he's a Yakuza, you know? He's the type of person who preys on people by tricking on them. By tricking them. Even now, he's probably pretending to be sorry, just so he can try to trick Please us. Please wait! There's no way that is possible. I know. 
No, I get why she'd think that of me. Oh, he didn't. He, he's got like a higher voice. I don't know how I can make it like a deeper voice, but like a higher, deeper voice. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're never gonna believe in you. Get it? This doesn't mean we've made up our mind, or made up or anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. Huh? huh? So... Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's gonna get cut off. Sorry. I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. You nasty pig bar. Don't cry. Pigs have no right to cry. You're grossing me out. I see. But Yuhiko is, is not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying, huh? Yo, Yoko. There's no way she would have ever forgiven for Yuhiko like this. Gross. Hey, what are you looking at? N nothing. Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. Oops. Forgot that was a button I could hit. But that's all the more reason to worry about him. Monokuma. There's no way he's not going to do anything while he's watching us like this, right? Boring! Hey, how much longer are you guys going to get bummed out? I came all the way here because you said it was a party. Yay! Come on, Ibuki. Hurry up and start the next song. Oh, Jesus. Roger, thanks for writing. Let's go right ahead to the next song. Oh, God. Huh? There's still more. Now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Grab a partner and slow dance, too. I squeezed out the baby, but I have no idea who the father is. Whoa. Why is that a song that you're even singing? Stop it! No more! What? What's everyone doing here? Monomi? What are you doing here? Jeez. Hey, don't interfere. Oh, I was enjoying such a fun party, too. What? I wasn't invited to the party. Where would we have even delivered an invitation for you? I mean, I guess we could have just walked outside and said, Hey, Monomi! And just, like, waited for you to appear. <laughs> Obviously not. You'd ruin a party if you were here. What? Oh, <laughs> But seriously, now's not the time. That's the time to enjoy a fun party. Why? <laughs> Akane! Akane is... Emergency! She's dueling Monokuma! What? <laughs> what did you say? At this point, Akane's gonna be in danger. Please, do something to save her. Okay. Looks like my bad feeling was correct. <laughs> Stupid fool! <laughs> no, I'm the one who was my... Who was the fool? It was my mistake to not keep my eyes on him. The team manager, I should have I should have had a proper grasp of my athlete's private life. Damn it! This failure will haunt me for the rest of my life, or my name is Nikomaru Nida! Uh, now is not the time for regret. Let's just make haste. Of course! Damn it! I really don't feel like yelling, and it's also late enough that my roommate might be asleep right now. So, if I yell too loud, it might wake his ass up, and I don't really want him mad at me for that. Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. A lot of anyone else in our group getting taken. I won't allow it! I'll never allow it! Hey, Monomi, where's Akane and Monokuma right now? Um... They're at the beach where we first arrived on this island. Please hurry, if you don't, Akane's gonna get killed! You don't have to tell me, I'm going full speed ahead! We should hurry too. We threw our bolted from the music venue as fast as his legs could take him, and we followed after. I, I should hurry too. Hey, everyone. What? 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 What now? Thanks. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> That's not it. I know Wakanda is in deep trouble, but you guys suck. Screw this half baked comfort. If, if this were a song, it'd be title would be Salt Sleeping Into My Broken Heart. I, I, I really get it, but you're pretty bummed out. Yeah. Come on, you shouldn't make a fuss here. Let's hurry over to the beach already. That was really weird. She's right, I should hurry. I think it'll be fast to go this way.
Not the central. I mean, this puts us right next to the beach, so we're okay, but... Hey, Chiaki, what are you doing? We gotta get to the beach. Calm down. Huh? Well, It's true that we need to hurry, but there's no way you can make good decisions if you're so worked up. If we don't hurry, Akane is... Hey. It's for the sake of saving Akane, too. We don't know what's beyond this point. That's why we need to stay calm. Uh, I think. Yeah, we got it. Okay, I'm yep. okay now. Then, let's go. Oh boy. After running there at full sprint, by the time I got to the beach, 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 and struggled to regain my breath, I saw a shocking scene unfold before me. Akane! Looks like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries. Yep, at least your agility is worthy of praise. But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? D damn it! Well, why can't I even graze you with my attacks? Well, you know, we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. Sure. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. <laughs> it's obvious you can't win. Hey, hey. Is she really serious about not even seeing it? Akane is just fighting this stuff down. <clears throat> Monokuma is an advanced machine. It's, if, it's it, it, if it's designed for combat, it's probably capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever seen. It's just that she can't even graze it with her attacks? Is that... Is that even possible? <laughs> However, it is because it's possible. That's why she's in this situation, right? How unfortunate. As long as she ended up like this, or like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it as fuel to bolster it. Bolster. She ain't dead, motherfucker! Right? Like Fuyuhiko did, you see? Don't fuck with me! Damn it! I never want to feel that feeling again. If I have to feel that way again, I'll make sure to stop it, even if it costs me my life. Ah! No, you can't. You really die if you keep overexerting yourself. Yeah. It's just... A little life Peko gave me. It's not precious anyways. <laughs> you stupid idiot! It's all the more reason you need to take care of it! Huh? Don't stop me! You guys stay back. I'll take it from this here. This is Nekomaru Nidai's final firework. Make sure you sear it into your eyes. Oh God, what's he about to do? Now then, it looks like everyone's here, so I might as well finish this. Why did he get the Mega Man Cannon? Didn't I say I won't allow any rule violations against me. This is what happens when you break the rules. Disappear. The world shook and turned stark white, as if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white, and within that whiteness, within that white, we heard a voice. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Nekomaru! He got the fuck blasted. Save? Damn. Huh. Isn't it obvious? Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. However, what a shame for someone like Nekomaru Nidai to... It was just a little shot from a bazooka. I really am the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Nekomaru! Akane, the time I've spent with you, it... It wasn't so bad. Don't... Die... Akane. Are we really doing this now? <laughs> Nekomaru!
Are you kidding me? Ah! Nikamaru died. That's what? 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 Holy crap! Instead of the rule violator Akane, what the hell? What a major failure! I ended up killing Nekomaru. We had nothing to do with this. Hey! Hold on. It's faint, but his heart is still beating. He's not dead yet. <laughs> uh, Mikan, do your shit. Ooh, uh... You gotta hurry and treat him. Hey, Monokuma, you... you can do something about this, right? Save Nekomaru like you saved me. Hey, hey! That's right. If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that makes you the one who violated the rules. Well? Then let's just say we're even. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let's just say Nekomaru was the sacrifice. Yeah Isn't it okay to eat to say we're even right now? Hey. You're not gonna save him? Unbelievable. I guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if he died a meaningless death. So? For today only, I'll activate my special trump card. And that's when it happened. A siren started ringing out of nowhere. And it gradually came closer and closer. This thing. Ooh, uh, this again? Yeah, this thing again? Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood. He even recycled the same line again. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat. So, I'll see you later. Even happening. After he said that, the ambulance containing ne Monokuma Nekomaru vanished from our sight. Wh what the hell? Why did this happen? What's going on? Hey, he's gonna be all right, right? Nekomaru's gonna be saved, right? Of course, he's obviously gonna be saved. Uh, but Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. I cannot believe Nekomaru is gone now. No! No more. I can't, can't stand this anymore. Hey. Hey, you can stop yelling. Can you stop yelling? Screaming won't help you, you know. Cause, cause, you uggo. This isn't cause. This is what happens when we let our guard down. All this talk about everyone getting along. We're just fooling ourselves. <laughs> I feel like there's something in my mouth, like some piece of food in my mouth that keeps shifting every once in a while and it's really fucking with me. We were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will just be killed one after another. It won't be a mystery when you're eventually betrayed. That's why I'm never going to rely on anyone. Well, we've all seen how that battle plan worked. That's the reality here. Uh, Are you saying it's meaningless for us to even work together? Shut up! If it really did have a meaning, Nikomaru wouldn't have ended up like that. Uh, he ended up like that... Because of his weird feelings of friendship. You. You. You understand too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. Hey. So can you please not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. That is. You'll go. Blaming Akane will not help solve anything. <laughs> we don't have to worry about Coach Nekomaru. Huh? huh? <laughs> Man, that's disappointing. Oh, it's all your fault and you're not even worried about him? Oh. Kane, are you not worried about Nekomaru? D damn it! There's no need to worry about worrying. I know Coach Nekomaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's going to die from something like that. There is no doubt. Nekomaru is definitely going to come back. Damn it. So when that happens, I'll make sure to apologize to him. Because I was too weak and that caused him trouble. So when he comes back... I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. A a Akane. As we returned to our cottages, we were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, only were wor only words of worry would come out. We all knew that. When we saw Nekomaru's tragedy happen right in front of us, once again we were all taught. If you think you won't die, well, that's just wishful thinking. On this island, without warning, people die. That is the nightmare we're trapped in. <laughs> and that is where I'm going to call this set. Jesus fucking Christ. 
I keep thinking that it's just going to be like, okay, somebody else died. Oh, shit, somebody else died. No, it's like weird shit after weird shit after weird shit going down. And it's getting there. We're, we're, I feel like something's going to happen because they've just set up like three or four different like possibilities for somebody to get killed. I think. Because now we have two weak ass motherfuckers in the hospital. And a bunch of people who are all either like who could potentially do something and just people in general who's been acting weird. So fuck. I, I don't know. <sighs> all right. That's going to be it for me tonight or for this set. Well, thank you all for, for stopping by hanging out. If you're on YouTube, di like, I don't even know. Like, is it just me? Is, is Does it seem like everybody else is acting weird? Because it seems like it. Leave me a comment below. And let me know if you think ever if it's just me. If it's just me or if you actually think everybody, everybody else at this point is starting to act kind of weird. Uh, if you're on Twitch, if you're seeing this on Twitch, uh, come check me out. You'll see the VOD. Like, the VODs will be going up about as fast as I can get them up. I'm probably going to post them have them post on the same day on on youtube and twitch so they'll post at the same time uh oh my god that was the that was the fucking thing that was in my mouth the entire time a little piece of something still some snack i had uh i think that's gonna be everything we'll see what happens in the next set because it's about to get really weird really fast all right I'm going to head out, guys. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good day, whatever happens to be wherever you are at. And I'll see you guys in the next set. Later.